Okay, so if you understand basic algebra, this should be a very easy problem to solve. So here is the question. We have this line right here, 4x is equal to 10, and you could graph this line on the xy coordinate plane. Now, kind of imagine this line on the xy coordinate plane, and what we're looking for is the slope of a line that runs perpendicular to this line, all right? And of course, there is infinite amount of lines that would uh, run perpendicular uh, to this line, but we want to find the slope of any line that is perpendicular, again, to the equation 4x is equal to 10, or the linear equation 4x is equal to 10. All right, now, if you understand the question and you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain how to solve this problem. This is actually very easy. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is zero. So the slope of a line that is perpendicular to this line, its slope would be zero. All right, now, if you understood the question and you got the right answer, well, you definitely get a, a happy face and an A+. Plus. And you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, what's going on? I don't even understand the question. Well, again, this is not that difficult. And the big picture topic here in algebra is called linear equations. You absolutely need to understand linear equations and slope. All right, so let's go ahead and get started right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. And what we first need to talk about is the slope of a line. All right, now the line in question here is 4x is equal to 10. So maybe that the, maybe like most of you right now might be saying, well, 4x is equal to 10. Uh, maybe I should solve for x. And if you were thinking uh, that, that's really actually very good. Okay, so here, if I solve for x, I get x is equal to 10 over 4, right? I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 4. And then, of course, I reduce this fraction. So uh, my final equation would be x equals 5 halves. Okay, so here's the deal, okay? We need to first understand what this equation is, kind of write it in a better way so we have that right now. Then we just need a quick review of slope, Okay, so what is the slope? Well, if I have a line like so, the slope of that line, and oftentimes we use that small m as a variable to describe that. So the slope is a number. Okay, specifically, it's a fraction, typically. Okay, so for example, the slope of this line could be something like two-thirds. Okay, but this number here is basically a description of the steepness or the angle of that line. Okay, that's what the slope is. Now, lines that increase from left to right have a positive slope. Matter of fact, let me just hold on one second. Let me just go a little bit further on the definition of a slope. And these are things that you should know as an algebra student. It's actually the rise over the run of a line. Okay, so for example, if we kind of take this line, draw a little triangle underneath it, we would say that this line rises two for every three it runs out, okay? So the way we actually describe the ratio the def or the definition of the slope is a ratio between the rise over the run of a line, okay? So for every, every three the line runs out this way, it rises up two, okay? Now, I don't want to turn this into a full uh, lesson on slope. Now, if you need additional help with slope, linear equations, how to find equations in line, all that stuff. I'm going to suggest checking out like my pre-algebra, Algebra 1 course. You can find that at my Math Help program. Also, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out as well. Okay, so hopefully you kind of remember that. You're like, okay, I, I'm, I'm with you, Mr. YouTube Math Man. That's very good. So anyways, lines that run from left to right or go uphill this way have a positive value um, as their slope. Now lines that go this way, that they, they fall from left to right, have a negative slope value. Now this is the two kind of questions in mind, okay? So let's talk about lines that are horizontal and lines that are vertical. Let me see if I can use another number here. How about something like this? Okay, so we, we talked about lines that increase um, go uphill from left to right, have a positive slope. Lines that fall 
from left to right have a negative slope. So we're just left with, well, what about, you know, flat horizontal lines and perfectly vertical lines? Okay, so a flat horizontal line has what? What's the slope of this line? What's the angle? What's the steepness of it? So hopefully you're like, well, it really doesn't appear to have any, and you would be correct. So the slope of a horizontal line is zero, okay? Now, how about the slope of a vertical line, right? Now, if we look at a vertical line, you're like, well, that looks like it's perfectly, you know, it has like a perfect high angle. Like, I don't even know how we could describe that. How could you even, you know, see the rise over the run? And this here has an undefined slope. Vertical lines have an undefined slope because when we look at the definition of slope, let me just kind of erase this here real quick. All right, so here the slope is equal to the rise over the run. Okay, now this line here runs out this way. The run is how much the line is kind of moving left and right. So how much is this line moving left and right, this black line here? Okay, well, it's not moving at all, right? So it has zero run. So in other words, the run is going to be zero. So zero in the denominator is undefined. So vertical lines are undefined. Okay, so hopefully you're with me on all of this. You're like, okay, I get this, I get this. So now let's kind of take this problem to the next uh, stage. All right, now, what does it mean to be perpendicular? Okay, so if I have one line, uh, and let's call that line one, and that's perpendicular to line two. This is a little symbol for perpendicular. What does that mean? Well, it means what these, when these two lines cross here, they form a right angle, okay, which is a 90 degree angle like so. Okay, so that's what uh, perpendicular lines mean. Parallel lines mean that they kind of like run like railroad tracks and they do not intersect. Okay, just in case you're confused, and the symbol for parallel lines is this, right? So like line one would be a parallel line two. That's not what we're talking. That's not what we're talking about in this uh, problem. We're talking about uh, perpendicular lines. Okay, so hopefully you're with me. Like, all right, these lines are perpendicular, and the question is, what would be the slope of all lines that are perpendicular to this line here, x? is equal to five halves. So let's go ahead and answer the question right now. But in order to answer this question, you know, you really needed all this kind of background uh, information that I had to give. All right, so X equals a number. How do we graph that? Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay. Well, the way you graph that is you go to this number on the x-axis. You know, So right here, we'll go to 5 halves right there, and then we simply draw a vertical line through that point, okay? So this is the line, x is equal to five halves. So here's five halves. Now, what we're saying is any point on this line, we have an x, y point, right? So any x, y point is on here, right there, right there, right there, it doesn't make a difference. We have infinite many points that are on this line, but all of these points have one thing in common. Their x coordinate is 5 halves. Okay, so x equals 5 halves. Uh, the graph of that would be a vertical line like so. Okay, so that's the first thing that you need to understand. And oftentimes algebra students confuse that. They'll be like, is x uh, equals a number? Is it a vertical or horizontal? It's just one of the things that a lot of students forget. And, you know, that's why I like to do videos like this, just to kind of do a quick refresher. All right, so if this line here, x is equal to 5 halves, is a vertical line, what would be a line that would be perpendicular to it? Well, of course, it would be a line like so, right? Now, here, okay, a, a, a vertical, I'm sorry, uh, a line that's perpendicular to a perfectly vertical line has what? Well, it has a slope of zero, okay? 
Now, even though this line right here, our yellow line, has an undefined slope, we could still just kind of reason through this, like, okay, well, a line perpendicular to this line would be a horizontal line, and of course, that would have a slope of zero. Now, a lot of you out there might be saying, oh, I thought you were going to do that thing with the negative reciprocal, right? So if I have a, sl a line of, let's say, two um, uh, thirds, a the slope of a line that's perpendicular to that would be the negative reciprocal. So that would be negative three uh, over two. Okay. So if you were thinking, um, you're like, oh yeah, I thought you were going to do this business here. Well, you were thinking good, but in this particular problem, you know, we didn't need to do that. Now you do need to understand more about parallel and perpendicular lines when it comes to linear equations, but that is for another video. Okay. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.